Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Rising Storm 2 Vietnam Open Beta on the GeForce GTX 750Ti for FPS my train. This time I won't be using Cam due to easy anti-cheat, the anti-cheat software this game uses. So in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner. So Rising Storm 2 Vietnam Open Beta, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p and 720p. To skip to any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So one thing to keep in mind, I had to overclock the 750Ti in order to get to the performance that I'm showing you right now. There is a link to a tutorial on how to overclock the 750Ti down in the description. First I'll be doing 1080p using pretty much medium settings. It was a mix of various things. Just check the video. And the game was close to 60 frames per second, but I had drops to 45 frames every now and then when there was heavy foliage or many explosions. Then on 900p, I could crank up the settings a little bit more and I was able to get 60 frames per second much more consistently. So I recommend 900p for this game and this card. And finally, at 720p, I was able to crank up the settings even more and be closer to 60 frames per second. But I recommend turning off some stuff in order to get the best performance. I will talk more about that in a second, but so far the moments where you are on heavy foliage or there is a lot of smoke or explosions are the worst moments in this game, performance wise. Okay, so first, this game will be released in around 10 days from now, at the end of May, so you might want to keep an eye out. I'll be doing a more in-depth review of the performance of this game in that moment since we are still on a beta stage. But I don't think they will change the game that much from there to now. The game is running on Unreal Engine 3. I suppose it is a heavily modified version of Unreal Engine 3. And the first things that I will lower will be SSAO, Depth of Field and Motion Blur. Those together usually give me a good FPS boost, but there are different moments where the game has performance issues. The places that I had more issues at were places with a lot of foliage plus water, or places with very dense foliage. If you want better performance there, I first recommend lowering world detail and foliage detail. Those together being lowered in those areas gave me a good FPS boost. Then on moments that there are a lot of explosions or a lot of dust and smoke in the air, just lower particle effects and post-process quality. Those two gave me a good boost in those scenarios. And one of the things that I noticed that was very evident was that the game every now and then has some freezes some like micro stutter. I tried different processors with it. I tried the G4560, the i5-7400 and the i7-4790 and those resets happened anyway so it must be something else that limits the game in those places but I'm not sure of what it is yet. I'll find out once the game releases. But yeah, so far the game isn't running as bad as I expected and I'll talk to you more about this game when it releases. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Taking Alpha. We have lost Delta. We are taking Charlie.
We are taking Alpha. Delta is being attacked. We have taken Fox Truck. You, Charlie. We are taking Bravo. Delta is being attacked. We are taking Charlie. Give me a second. Recon is in the air. We have taken Charlie. Fight, soldier. Bravo. Give me a second.
Foxtrot is being attacked. We have lost Delta. Echo is being attacked. We are taking Charlie. Echo is being attacked. We are taking Delta. Foxtrot is being attacked. Recon is in the air. AC-47 inbound. Take cover. is being attacked. attacked.